Hi, I'm Robin, English teacher with Core Languages, and today I'm back at the College of Charleston. The College of Charleston is the oldest municipal college in America. You would know this if you look up at the plaque behind me. But you can also find this information if you look it up on the internet. Notice how I just said look up twice. I said look up at the plaque behind me and look up information. In both instances, I use the preposition up. But when I say look up information, I don't use it to express location between nouns. I'm actually changing the meaning of the verb. To look up means to inform yourself or to gather information. To look up is what's called a phrasal verb. English has many phrasal verbs, and we need to understand their meaning and how to use them. They help us sound more natural in casual conversation. In today's video, I'm going to give you an overview over some basic phrasal verbs. So the next time you want to join a casual conversation, you can formulate a perfect English sentence. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are phrases that typically consist of a verb and one or more prepositions or adverbs. They can have objects, which can be somebody or something, which can go between the verb and the preposition. They can go immediately after or at the end of a sentence. Here are some examples. To bring up. Bring is the verb and up is the preposition. To bring up means to mention something. To come across means to see something. To get along means to be friendly towards someone. To go out with means to date someone or to be in a relationship with someone. Look into means to research or investigate something. To put off means to delay or to procrastinate. To run out means to no longer have something available. To take back means to retract or correct something said. To turn down means to reject something or to reject someone. And to warm up means to become less shy or to become friendlier. Here are examples of sentences using the phrasal verb break down in different tenses. The phrasal verb to break down means to explain something in detail. In this example, the object of this phrasal verb is the situation. Read the following sentences and pay close attention to the word order. She breaks the situation down for him. This sentence is in the simple present or the present simple. She is breaking the situation down for him. This sentence is in the present continuous. She has broken the situation down for him. This sentence is in the present perfect. She broke the situation down for him. The sentence is in the simple past. She was breaking the situation down for him. This sentence is in the past progressive. Here are some examples of sentences using phrasal verbs with the verb look. For example, I looked up the address online. To look up means to search for. I could also say, I searched for the address online. He looked after his sister. To look after means to take care of. I could also say, he took care of his sister. We look forward to the wedding. To look forward to 
means to be excited about. I could also say, we are excited about the wedding. It is important to note that not every verb that is followed by a preposition is a phrasal verb. Let's look at our previous example. I looked up the address online. In this example, to look up means to search for. Look up the street. There is the restaurant. In this example, look up is not a phrasal verb and does not mean to search for. But this sentence uses a prepositional phrase, up the street, and it expresses that we should direct our gaze upward. Here are examples of sentences using phrasal verbs that are based on the verb to get. For example, she gets along with her siblings. To get along means to be friendly towards. I could also say she is friendly towards her siblings. We got away with parking illegally. To get away with something means to not get caught. I could also say we did not get caught parking illegally. Are you getting back into a routine? To get back into means to start up again. I could also say, are you starting up a routine again? Let's look at the following two examples and choose between the prepositions up, over, and under to complete the phrasal verb expression. I got up, I got over, or I got under my fear of heights. The phrasal verb to get over means to overcome. I got over my fear of heights or I overcame my fear of heights. And how about this example? He made up, he made over, or he made under the story about being in a circus. To make up means to invent or to lie about. So the correct sentence is, he made up the story about being in a circus, or he invented the story about being in a circus. And how about this example? She is going out with someone from work, or she is going with someone from work. The sentence she is going with someone from work is grammatically correct, but to be going out with someone means to date someone or to be romantically involved with someone. So the correct sentence is she's going out with someone from work or she is dating someone from work. And how about this example? I am taking up the budget because we must cut spending or I am bringing up the budget because we must cut spending. To bring up means to mention in a conversation. So the correct sentence is, I am bringing up the budget because we must cut spending, or I am mentioning the budget because we must cut spending. Thank you for watching. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to use phrasal verbs. As always, if you have more questions, feel free to comment, or if you're interested in joining one of our courses with a live instructor, feel free to message us directly. I look forward to seeing you in our next class.